<laughs> We're rolling. Okay. What's up, Deronis? Welcome back to another episode of Fitness. The other F word. As you can see, we're still here in Studio Havana. Hola. Yep. A lot of taxis outside. Yes. And uh, Fidel Castro is super busy right now. Hey, Fidel Castro reference on this show. Might as well. We're going to throw it all in today. Surprised we didn't say that last week when you said we're from Havana. I know. I know. I forgot. He's the leader. The leader. Education. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I am your co-host, Summer Lee, a.k.a. Gorilla Monsoon. I have here my co-host, Aaron Sakai, a.k.a. Mean Gene Okerlund. Really? Interesting. I, figured, I was not expecting that. I figured because we're behind the mics, you know, it almost it has that kind of WWF feel. Isn't she great, everyone? Huh? Isn't that something? A wrestling reference from a woman. Hey, there's some of us something? out there, okay? I don't know who they are. There's two of us. Well... And that just got me to say, shout out to Mrs. Drizzy, the number one fan of this show. <laughs> and uh, let's just say we had a talk about you before well, we started. Yeah, we did. We did. Every time we start this show, before we start it, it gets very draining and tiring and annoying. But not so much this week because we talked about the one known as at Mrs. Drizzy. And you may get a, a clip of why after this is done. <laughs> but, Behind the uh, scenes. Shout out to our not sponsors, the cereal school. First we had protein water, now we have cereal school, and this is cereal. This is 100 calories a bag. Portion control. Sugar-free, one gram net carb. Low in sugar, gang. I guess we need to get into what net carbs is in another, in another yes, moment that's, here. Yes, that's TB, TBD. Right. It's fruity. That's the flavor. That sums up a lot going on in the last. Hey. <laughs> and uh, what else we got here? We got uh, we got fiber in here. No, we don't have any fiber. Oh, this is berries. Sorry, yeah. fruity two berries. Two flavors. Shout out our not sponsor. Can we get on this? What is this? It's the Cereal School. That's the name of this brand. Yes, okay. the brand is the Cereal School. If All right. You, if you need like a cereal fix, but not the blood sugar issues. All right, yeah. so it's sugar-free cereal. Yes, it is. All right, well, just just keep it coming with these these oddball weird products. Weird, quote unquote, food. Where does one purchase the cereal school? That is only purchased online, unfortunately. So you do have to go to the, the cerealschool.com. Oh, you have to go website. direct to these guys. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, shout out extra effort. All right, what are we talking <laughs> about today? This week. Okay, okay. Well, well, first of all, before we get into the topic, I did want to say something more broadly. Um, actually, for you, Aaron, that I just want to let you know, I thought that was a great job what you did with the, um, the entire political series because at this point, we're, we're done, right? In terms of, for now, uh, for now. Kind of, sort of. I have, well, next week will be the Halloween show. Oh, right, okay. That's October uh, 28th. That's what Lopaka... But, but for like the political stuff. And then, well, after that, then I'm going to try and get Councilman uh, Joy Manahan on. Oh, So okay, that's okay. coming. Okay. And then Kelly Kitashima is going to be coming on as well. I'm going to try and sneak them in. Got it. Uh, I don't know if, you, if people are familiar with Kelly Kitashima. She is the person running in Ige's former seat. Mm -hmm. Ige used to run, yes. uh, Ige was Pro City, and yes. that's where she's running from. She's got unique ideas as far as the tiers as far as restaurants reopening so it's a different different deal with her and then we're going to do the election show probably doing the election night live mm -hmm. and then the day after will be the post wrap-up show which would be on a wednesday that'll be november 4th and then that will be with uh, andrea tupola okay. who ran yeah, for governor yeah that's right okay so she, she will be joining in on the fun and that's the latest so as far as the political stuff we got a few more to go with but the candidates are all Okay, yeah. yeah. So yeah. you're then uh, with the candidate series, maybe then, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I personally, just as like a citizen, appreciated it because oh. this was a way to get a real good insight into the candidates that, you, that was unique because 
sure you you know you watch the debates you read their their social media stuff right. like that but it's very canned it's very structured um, yes this was a way to get to know them and actually get a feel for them it was even yeah. tough sometimes to get a feel for them in the debates um sound bites sound bites have... time limits and right to have this relatively unstructured hour with one person where they Clearly, you were building this rapport with them, so they felt comfortable to talk to you. It, it really helped me in terms of making sure I made an educated, informed decision on voting. Right. I hope all of you out there vote, by the way. Right, hopefully, um, right? Yeah. Just not do fitness, you know? <laughs> yeah. Be full circle. Yeah. But that was basically it. It was just to inform everyone, because people, I felt, especially in Hawaii, mm -hmm. now more than ever, we need to be more informed. Definitely. About what's going on in this uh, city, in this country, really. And uh, yeah. that was really it, just to get everybody more information and to have them talk and have them to be themselves as much as they can, make them as comfortable as they can, and mm -hmm. have them go on tangents and rants and whatnot and let them to do so. And you'll see the real conversation come out, possibly. The, the person behind the politician. Right. It's not just sound bites and the yeah. timers. And so I hope everybody out there uh, took that information and dug it. and. Um, yeah, it was a learning experience, yeah. to say the least. And uh, still learning. Shout out to everybody that watched the Rick Blangiardi <laughs> interview live. Uh, you ain't gonna see that again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I've officially become knee deep in the political shit because of this, so. He's in it, gang. But that's another story that it. I'm trying to get over it, just happened, but then you know. It's fresh, fresh on the mind. Someone wants to do the fitness shit, so I'm like, all right, <laughs> let's do it. I mean, I got freaking. All kinds of behind-the-scenes bullshit, but no, fitness continue. You need to still so, focus on right. your health. Right, and uh, there you go. You know, can't let so everything see? else go. So see, see if, if I have my life going to possible shit, I'm still going to have to go and do this. Life because still goes on. We got to continue. We need to, go, we need to move on, right? That's exactly right. Yeah, we're living, we're living, what, we're living our truth, as they say. That's you say good. I. How do you spell that? T R U F. Yes, that's right. how I. That's how I spell it. Right. All right. Yeah. Shout out, Mrs. Drizzy. <laughs> okay. If, uh, if you catch my. What is the topic today? What are we doing? Okay, so um, we. I wanted to continue with nutrition. Oh. We. So we had kind of taken right. a, a a diversion right. last week because we were. We were talking about the Honolulu Club. It, it oh, just right. happened. Yes, that was a hoot. Uh, so, Korean um, bars and Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think we did like 15 minutes of actually about the Honolulu Club. Yeah. Everything else was weird. We just moved into yeah, but Korean that's bars. Okay. It is what it is. Um, so this time, still talking about nutrition. And again, I get it. It can get super boring. So I was thinking, I'll just throw out a few of the foods that like, I, I know for myself, I wish the myth of it being quote unquote healthy would just die already oh. in that sense. So I can, I'm going to just, oh. just throw out a food and then oh, okay. let you, what let you kind of right. get your take on it. Okay. So foods. Okay. We're, we're covering it's, foods. It's foods. Yes. So, okay. and then maybe I'll take a step back and say like, just a quick recap of the, the previous nutrition episode. We were just, we basically were just kind of talking more on the lines of, um, trying to minimize the amount of like, liquid calories you take in because that, that that can really blow your whole um where am i going with that? <laughs> well for a second i thought you said blow your hole i was i did i mean you i meant did to, say blow did, your hole but then you paused i so know it really meant like because of the way i knew i was saying it i meant <sighs> w-h-o-l-e because i was gonna say your whole entire thank you caloric budget yeah that's what i meant to say i didn't Anyway, so... This is like two weeks in a row. I like it. I like the, 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 the sexual overtone of this. It's kind of... Well, we are in Havana. Whatever it is so. for ratings, and we're in Havana nights. Shout I out will to do whatever the hell. The Lombada. <laughs> That's a, still a thing in 2020. All right. It yeah. should be somewhere. Um, yeah, only us because we're old. We'll remember the Lombada. Yeah. I thought that when I saw that, that movie poster... Um, and I almost thought it was because I when I, I just remember seeing it at like it wasn't even a blockbuster. It was like a just a VHS rental diamond story. head video, something like that. But it was in Aya because I lived in Aya oh, at the time. Okay. And I just remember seeing it and I felt like, ooh, this is a dirty movie. It's the Forbidden Dance. <laughs> and it was I, just a guy. Like it was a oh silhouette Lord. of a guy like 
with his hand down the girl's thigh. Or of course, right? as they should be. Yeah, and I was like, oh, this is. This is you got that excited over a, over a cover, well, a VHS I, cover. I was like. No, it was a poster. It was a poster. Like, okay. they were advertising. All right. Up. Oh, there's a big poster right in your face. Yeah, just like, and I just remember yeah. looking up. Because, right. again, I was, like, five or whatever. Wow. <gasps> well, you went through puberty quick. Yeah. Uh, I don't even remember what year that was. How can you be five? What, what, I just remember was like, I was young. Was this, like, late 80s? The Lombardo? Well, I thought it Early was. Early 90s? No, I, I thought it was late 80s. Something like that, right? Yeah. I don't even know who's in the movie. But, but no, I don't know who's It was a thing. It was a trend. We may talk about that next week at this point. We talk about fitness dancing and uh, sexual innuendo. <laughs> Time for foods. Okay. So here is here is the first one. Soy. Soy as a healthy food. What? Okay. So this is like saying, Okay. well, first of all, do you think it is a health food? And if it is not, all right. you know, that kind of a thing. Okay. Because people still think it's a, it's, it's, it's across the board healthy. Something to be used as an alternative to things. Yes. Well, if this was like the 70s or 80s, you might be onto something. Okay. But people don't take into account the word known as digestion. Some people cannot digest soy. Mm -hmm. I used to work at a place called Down to Earth. Mm -hmm. Soy up the yin yang over there. That's right. They That's love right. it because it's a vegetarian store. Yeah. They sub soy out, soy in for everything. Everything. As a protein alternative, As right? the protein alternative because that's the one thing that they need. So if you're a vegetarian, if you're doing that out of religious belief, what have you, end of story. Yes. I get it. It's fine. If you're doing it as an as a alternative to protein and you eat meat, Mm-hmm. Why? Yeah. What's the reasoning for it? If you don't want to eat too much red meat for health reasons, okay. It comes, See, that's the thing with these food situations because it's going to be everybody's different. Yeah. yeah. It's always going to be everybody's different. That's why as a, a trainer, you, you shouldn't be prescribing if a meal, a meal plan, mm -hmm. a specific meal plan for this very reason. Mm -hmm. Because we throw out things like soy. If you're, if you're a pro-soy person and you're gonna give all your clients soy just because you like it, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. It, it doesn't work that way. Right. So when it comes to soy, you gotta look at the person as far as allergic or not. Big factor, people always don't re take into account or remember there's things called allergies. Mm -hmm. So you can't give anybody anything yeah. So then you have that and you have the digestion issue. But as something as if you want to look at that as your main protein, look elsewhere if you are able to eat other things. I guess to, to summarize, if, it, if you wanted to look at it for a protein source. Yeah. And what about like, I remember maybe about 10 years ago, a lot of the supplement companies were kind of coming out and shitting on soy because they were saying it was like a like the the additive yeah. soy was cheap and it was a way to yeah it's not the best and yeah. if anything it might have those um what do they call it the estrogen estrogen it could have estrogenic properties yeah yeah right. so they say stay away from it if you can't right if, if you don't need to have soy right and of course that was a thing that was be promoted a lot with male uh supplement companies being yeah use whey protein for example which i'm sure we'll talk about mm -hmm. but use whey protein rather than soy because soy too much turns into estrogen yeah and you don't want to be a girly man <laughs> so there's that but the bottom line is you look at why are you doing it why do you think you need it mm -hmm. and go from there it, yeah it, that's really what it is it's it's not the cure-all no food is the cure-all here yeah. so if you're going to go on an all soy diet first of all ask yourself why yeah. Then who told you this or vice versa? Right. And go from there. Yeah. I mean, I can't see too many people saying, I just, dang it, I just love that tofu. I love the taste of it. Go to Down it. Earth. Oh, okay. Hey, boy, I got news for you. They love it. Okay. Better than beef stew. Uh, terry tofu. I mean. Uh, and some of the stuff, I got to say, I, I give them credit. Shout out to, they can make it taste somewhat similar. I, yeah, I yeah, it. that's true, that's true. Like beef yeah. stew, really. If you look at beef stew as a whole, if you get the right seasoning, seasoning it's vegetables anyway, the beef is there, yeah. of course. If you can sub out the beef broth and the beef situation, 
you could probably pull it off. I guess so, yeah. Terry tofu, okay, texture-wise, that's an issue. Yeah. Are you down with the texture of tofu? But the flavoring is there, because it's okay. teriyaki, you marinate the thing. Yeah. So, I don't know, it comes down to, why are you doing it? Is this religious? Is this personal preference? Don't make it like, this is the end all and I'm a pro soy. Like you said, I don't see anybody like the soy fan club Facebook page or anything. <laughs> Right, Maybe right. there is. I, I digress, but I don't see that as being the end all, and okay. that's not as far as a healthy food. Yeah, yeah, um, so. yeah. I think that makes sense. It's just I, I just remember one like I remember in the eighties that was like the thing. Oh it was yeah, like, yeah. Soy means it's healthy. That was big because then they're they're pushing that as uh, the protein alternative. Right. And then it moved into uh, whey protein, milk protein, milk protein, yeah. egg protein. Okay. Yeah. You could get egg, I'm pretty sure you can get powdered egg protein now. Yeah. But yeah. And then, then now they have peanut butter powder. Yeah. If they you've do. seen that on the stores. Yeah, I, yeah. Which is a, a phenomenal thing if you if ever check that out. Because you just add water, you got peanut butter. Yeah. And it's, the fat is gone. It's like 90% of the fat is stripped yeah, out. Or so something. Yeah. So that's, that's the evolution of all of these different proteins. So. Well, along those lines, too, then, like in terms of, because we mentioned it, um, I think this is a myth where they say just automatically because you're vegetarian or vegan, you're automatically either going to lose weight or you're automatically way healthier than a meat eater. Not going to happen. Yeah. No, because there's a thing called sweets <laughs> and there's a lot and there's a thing called carbs. As a worker of down to earth <laughs> and dealing with and this was the King Street one, meaning it was close to UH, which is close mm -hmm. to a college, which is close to younger kids. Younger kids are trying to find themselves. What do they like to do when they find themselves? They like to do vegetarian shit. Yeah. And they like to be spiritual. So they don't want to eat meat anymore, but then they'll just end up eating Snickers and French fries because yeah. that's better for life. Therefore, weight gain, plenty weight gain. Uh, Saw that a lot in Down to Earth. A lot of people were not, I don't think anybody that's watching, I, I left there in 2004, so they're probably dead. So as far as people's body structure, mm -hmm. I'll never forget, there was basically only two people that I came across that were fit, at, that worked at Down to Earth. Okay. So then of course I'm like, so what do you eat? Meat, of course. Duh. So yeah, there's meat people that work there. I mean, it's not all a certain religion. Wink, wink. But people do eat meat. I ate meat, meat when I was working there. Yeah. Uh, that's how it is. He's, he's eating meat. Only I meat hope. eater would honk his horn, I think. That's out of anger, right? Because meat causes anger, says the vegetarian. So you would see a lot of overweight people in down to earth, not in shape people not ripped people you'd see the lanky people yeah yeah you'd see the the the, the very skinny people the yoga ish yeah you, you see either dr two dramatics very skinny or very overweight just not in shape that's what i would see as far as that goes i always had like a pet theory too i don't know if this is necessarily true or not where i would think like if i restrict myself so much where i'm very limited in, in terms of what for the one macro meaning protein i can only eat certain things like okay. if you're not careful about it you start under eating it and then your yeah. body starts just craving calories and so now yeah. you're going to overeat the carbs and stuff right in an attempt to try and satiate even though really your body's saying no i need more protein right i always thought that, exactly that was right. other, another issue for that well and then that goes into the uh I guess if you want to cover like a diet, like the low carb diet, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. something like that, if that was what you had on the agenda today. Yeah, but I do. The, have, I do have those the the diets on the Atkins. Too. Yeah. So if you want to look at the Atkins diet, you're doing the Atkins diet. What is the Atkins diet? Is first of all, it's basically no carbs. Mm -hmm. You're not doing carbs. You're eating meat. You get to eat bacon. You get yeah. to eat all the meat, fat, meat all you and want, fats. right? So then you always would have that person with that agenda mm -hmm. going into a store like Down to Earth asking for Atkins products. 
Saw that all the time. Okay. Because people just do not know. People are uninformed, right? And it was really big at one point, right? Atkins was... Early 2000s. Yeah, it was everywhere. About Everybody two, was doing yeah, it. Yeah, 2002 to 2006, I want to say. A lot of people were eating pork rinds. Pork rinds, right. It was like the one thing you could eat. There was a week-by-week -week process you had to do for Atkins to, to weed off, uh, wean off carbs, yeah. right? Like you weren't supposed to eat tomatoes, for example, for like certain several amount really? of weeks. Yeah. Oh, geez. Okay. So like little specific specificities of that. You could drink red wine, for example. Okay. Uh, but then the bacon, all that, and then Atkins finally came out with his own product line, which really That's took right. off because he right. had bars like chocolate bars. Yeah. They had uh, peanut butter cup stuff. They didn't even have like his own ketchup and stuff. Yeah, the Atkins no sugar ketchup, ketchup, right? There was Atkins okay. bread, which oh, was geez. a which was a phenomenon in itself because when that came out, people went ape shit on that. <laughs> Because what's the what is bread, right, people? Right. So the low carb bread thing became a major thing, and I tripped bread. out when I first saw this thing. When I first saw the case come in of Atkins bread, I was like, what is this shit? And you would eat it, and it 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 was not bad. It, it, was, it was close enough. Yeah, to it was strange. That itch. You're right. It needed to be kept in the freezer, much like uh, it, people that know of Ezekiel bread. Yeah, yeah, the sprouted bread. sprouted bread. Reason why it's kept in the freezer is because there's no preservatives. So that's the, that's yeah. the reason why. It's really naturally made bread. That's okay. why it's very grainy and you see the nuts and everything inside. Well, it was similar to, but that was what the Atkins bread was doing. Okay. And uh, it, was a, it was a phenomenon. I mean, so much that even Ezekiel came out with a low carb bread. Everybody was coming out with a low carb bread at that point to battle Atkins, because his yeah. products, people would, were so involved in the Atkins thing that they would, I would see people that were obese would get a cartload of just all Atkins. They'd buy up cases just of the bars. Whatever had his name on it, right. give it to me. All the bars, all the peanut butter cup, the, uh, they had the ketchup, they had the bread. There was, it was a lot of stuff that was on the shelf. It wasn't refrigerated. Like dressings and... You had dressings. Uh, it was a lot of stuff that were like add-ons. Yeah, yeah. You had you had chips. You had uh, Atkins potato chips. Yeah, chips. That's right. Just That's think right. of all of the carb things out there that would be heavy in sugar or carbs. He yeah. made an Atkins version of it. Which is brilliant. Right. I think it's marketing-wise. But then there's a catch to that too, though. Right. If you sell something that's low fat, what is usually the thing that they increase? Sugar. Yeah. If you sell something that's low sugar, what are they going to increase? The fat. Atkins likes fat. Yeah. So once again, if you stay on that plane for weeks on weeks of just all fat, will you lose weight? Perhaps. Will you lose fat? Not really. Fat needs to burn fat. Yeah. But if you're doing only fat, you're not going to be losing all the fat. Yeah. Yeah. So there is that catch. And then plus they need to make it taste good. So there's sodium. Right, right. Sodium galore. Yeah, that's right. Gotta watch out. And then you got the sweetener, artificial sweetener in there. Gotta watch out. Because some of those sweeteners can mess you up, make yeah. you want to get sweets. Yeah, they'll, they'll trigger that. They'll trigger cascade that. Effect you gotta watch out. Yeah. So there's all these little catches. It, it's not cut and dry, even if you're going to just simply say, I'm going to be an Atkins guy. It, it, it really isn't. And will you lose weight probably in the first month if you did all that? Yeah. I would say yeah. Yeah. But for the long term, you're going to be cool month two, month three, month four? Yeah, yeah. You're going to have to eat carbs sooner or later. It's, it's going to be inevitable. It's going to be, be, yeah. And then we even cover the final thing, fiber. Oh, yeah. If uh. this shit don't have fiber, no pun intended. I know. <laughs> it's going to be a problem, all right? There's going to be some stuck. And you may need something from the cereal school to help you out, but this doesn't have fiber either. This is technically a low carb. Sorry, cereal school. I know you're not our sponsor. This is a low carb thing. Yes. Yeah, that is. And this is in essence an example of an Atkins product. Okay, so if I look down the line, this has zero fiber, right? This has this has zero sugar. This yeah. has the uh, artificial sweetener, which is four grams. Sodium is thirty milligrams, so that's that's good. Three point five grams of fat, though, per yeah. this little bag. That's how you make the thing tasty. That's no free lunch, also. For example, no free lunch. Yeah. So you, there's all of that too. You, you make sure there's fiber. You gotta have fiber. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta get the colon to blow. And uh, shout out to SNL. God, that was the best Phil commercial. Phil Hartman, rest in peace. Oh my gosh. That was but he wasn't wrong. Thirty thousand. Right. <laughs> Super colon blow.
It would take over 300. It was, look it up on YouTube. It's, it's the on best there. gang. Look it up on YouTube. It's Cold one of the blow. best Pill parody Island. commercials ever. It was like from the 80s. Yes, it was. So yeah, so that's my long-winded thing on the, on the Atkins but diet. That's perfect because that leads to my other like myth of you're always going to hear some some guy or girl or whatever non-binary person say we're, we're equal opportunity here um well they'll just say keto dude keto keto's the best or intermittent fasting intermittent fasting is the best oh uh no gluten-free go gluten-free that's the best right and so what i mean uh, like really you're saying uh, it's okay. not the diet it's can you sustain this for the long term and be consistent correct right? yes so, Take it away. Keep keto. All right. Keto IF, diet. Okay. Whatever. And then shout out to the last clip that posted because the clip started. It was me doing this. <laughs> so it looked like if you did, weren't listening to it, it's like I was crying. So shout out to you choosing that clip because I have you doing the clips now that I post on the Instagram. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. every time I scroll by it and it's just me <laughs> doing this, it's like, what's my problem? What did I do Aaron wrong It is here? so stressed. And I don't even know what the it topic is. was in the, to in the thing, but it just looks like I'm crying and it's like I'm just... I don't even know what we were talking about, but Korean bars at that point. So, okay. Who doesn't cry at a Korean bar? I haven't gone to one. I would love In to theory. cry there. I would love to cry at the Korean bar. Uh, Tier keto, three. Tier three. <laughs> so, to keto, uh, to the keto people out there, to the intermittent fasting people out there, to all you guys, let's just let's bunch this up because yeah, it's all yeah. the same answer. All right. How long are you foreseeing yourself doing this? Right. That's it. You're going to be a fan of the Atkins. You're going to be a fan of keto. You're going to be a fan of paleo. You're going to be a fan of intermittent fasting. Yeah, paleo is the other one, yeah. All of them. Okay. Can you see yourself realistically doing this for how long? They have 30-day plans. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Mm -hmm. If you're going to 30 and cycle on and off, okay, yeah. that's Maybe fine. Maybe kickstart something. That's, that's fine, yeah. right. And if you want to re return back to it a month or every other month, yeah. okay. Yeah. But don't go out there and say like you're the number one fan of the keto diet or that's the best and then everybody shut up. <laughs> I mean, you're just going to sound like a fool and you're going to most likely get people annoyed of you and you're going to have less friends and then you can go and do the keto diet all you want by yourself. All right. If you're that kind of person. So look at what you're trying to do and look at how are you going to realistically do this for the long term and do you see this working out for you in the long term or is this an act of desperation for yourself mm -hmm. because you're trying to do anything you can to lose weight. Yeah. That's the reason why, or maybe something internally healthy that you're trying to take care of. Yeah. Because yeah. you gotta look at it, paleo is not just a losing weight thing. You, you're, you, right. you may not even lose any weight on these things. Right. It's just internally, health wise. Yes. Coming back to digestion from earlier. Yes. People got digestion problems. It's a not talked about it's thing, not. really, right? People aren't even aware of it for themselves. Right. Yeah. People just make fun of people with the gluten free thing. It's more than the gluten-free thing. It's way more than that, yeah. So look at it. If you're doing this for health, understandable. Just look at how are you going to maintain that month two, month three, month four. Are you yeah. cycling on and off? The intermittent fasting people are different. They're thinking they got some quick, quick scheme kind of shit. But it's like, anabolic, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the intermittent fasting is the Amway of the diet world, right? It's some cheap money-making scheme, pyramid thing that they think they're going to just do and be successful with, all right? Here's the thing. You're, gonna, you're not going to eat from, okay, 7 at night to 2 in the afternoon the next day. Normally, that's, the, yeah, yeah, normally. Right, something it's along like the a, lines of that. Like it's a 12 to 16 hour window right. where you're not eating. So you're, yeah. you're going to tell, okay, bro, I'm only going to eat from 2 to 7, okay? And that's all I do. It's great. I just, I just do that. It's great. It's huge. So you're going to do that. Beautiful. Beautiful. And what are you going to eat between 2 and 7? Are you going to go get Gracie's? Are you going to go get fast food? You're gonna get ramen? I get soy. <laughs> what are you gonna do? That's the problem. People think that because they're fasting, like they're gonna get blood tests or something, yeah, that yeah. they can now just go eat whatever the hell shit they want. And they think, yeah, it's okay, because I'm only eating between two and seven. Right. No. Big problem. Big common problem. Oh yeah. And then you let that run, that's gonna screw you up internally. That's gonna screw up your organs internally. Because your organs are gonna be like, what the hell are you doing? Oh yeah, it's literal feast and famine. Right, what, what are you doing to, your, to, your, to, your, to, to us inside of you that we're waiting for you to give us nutrients or something. We're waiting between two and seven when we can eat. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? And they're signaling, your body is signaling, hey, we, we like something. Right. <laughs> so, once again, if you do it correctly, 
big factor. And mm -hmm. how long are you going to do this correctly for? And then how many days you do this in a week? You can't be fasting every day. No. Usually you start off with like one or two to just get yourself used to it, right? Yeah. Start from there. And in those one to two, don't be all excited that, okay, I'm just not going to eat. Okay, here we go. I'm just not going to eat or two. Oh my goodness. Oh, I got so hard. I'm just drinking water and I'm doing my, my protein water. No. <laughs> and that don't count either. Yeah, okay? actually that doesn't count. I'm just going to do my coffee. Yeah. Okay. But then when it comes time to eat, what are you going to eat? That's bottom line. And that's the fasting people. Actually, I did try intermittent fasting and I found, it, even for myself, it's you, you do get so hungry that right. you will overeat. Or what I noticed, and I was not comfortable with, um, I, I've never had an eating disorder or anything, but I noticed yes. I started to have uh, eating disorder-like behaviors in the sense of that last hour, I really started to, like, uh, what is the word, like ruminate or, or fixate on food and then oh like, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna eat this. Oh, I'm definitely. gonna eat this. I'm gonna eat this. Exactly. I'm gonna eat this. And then, of course, exactly. you, you do that, whatever it is, the pancakes with the extra bacon and all that, and Correct. after you feel horrible. Correct. Um, yeah, I, I you overindulge. Wasn't, yeah, I wasn't too comfortable with yeah. how that made me feel. Um, yeah. And all my lifts felt shitty. It was terrible. I, I never li had a great workout, so I, I actually stopped. And then that screws up your workout. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Because then once you start craving for stuff, then you're just going to overindulge. That's another bottom line, like you said. And that's the thing people don't realize. Yeah, yeah. But there is some people that I, I do know that, like, specifically intermittent fasting, they all tend to be guys, though. So I think it might be a, have something to do with the physiology of a guy. It maybe works a little bit better. Or they love it. I think they yeah. they really do thrive off it's of a, it. I, I noticed that, too. Yeah. And I, that I'm not sure if it's something internal. I'm not mm -hmm. sure if it's something hormonal. I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure we could research that one. But uh, yeah. I have noticed males do fare better right. with it. Where they're not just kind of like suffering through it. But they're like, no, this, I feel great. I've never felt great on it on to, when I tried it. So well, I do maybe, it it's, maybe it's an ego thing. Well, I don't maybe. know. Maybe it's a male yeah. ego thing. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to speculate on yeah, that. Yeah, but yeah. It, I, 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 did, I do notice that, though. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, but I think that again, the bottom line is, if it f works for your lifestyle and you think you can do this long term and consistently and all yeah. of that good stuff, then yeah. then fine. Uh, yeah, I think that's the that's the bottom line. Well, you gotta think of long term. Yeah, that's what it is. Definitely. Can you diet long term? Um. To on that along those lines, maybe just so that we can make sure that people know, like, so keto is short for um, ketos ketosis, right? Yes. So that's the one where you're eating moderate protein, no, almost no carbs, and high fats. So kind of hard to sustain, kinda, similar to right. Atkins, yeah? Similar to Atkins, yeah. yeah. And another thing Atkins would sell would be the keto uh, strips. The, the strips, ke the, that's right. To test if you are in To, to test ketosis. if you're in ketosis. Okay. That's what Atkins sold. Uh, oh, ketosis is when you use fat for energy rather than carbs or something like that right? yeah okay. it, you just I, you I, just switch over okay and uh to test that you you had keto strips you, you pee on the strip okay yeah that was a thing and then paleo is is you're gonna eat quote unquote like a caveman so you just you don't eat anything processed like no breads no well obviously no potato no cereal school cereal no it's basically cereal like school. meat and veggies basically yeah yeah Pretty much to, to summarize that, yeah. nothing processed. Uh, usually, it's a, it's the help with digestion. Yeah, it, yeah. And it, it makes sense in terms of helping with um, digestion. Yeah. Because you're staying away from processed things. Right, which normally are the triggers for exactly. inflammation. Exactly. Yeah. Right, and that's the problem with America with the processed foods, and that's why paleo has become a, a thing, has become a very popular thing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's usually a 30-day uh, program that you do. Right. And that one is a cycle on and off situation. I'm, I'm sure there's other ways to do it to keep going, but usually I hear the 30 day plan yeah. is the plan. So. Okay. Yeah. Just for those yeah. of you out there, if you, you might have heard what those terms, well, you've, maybe you've heard the terms floating around and you're not sure what those are. But, right. Um, and then, like Aaron was mentioning, intermittent, intermittent fasting or IF is just, you know, you, you fast for a little bit eat for a little bit fast eat so there's different windows and stuff like that but that's what that is yeah 
Um, and I guess like even for the like still talking about like vegetarian and vegan, um, in theory it's healthier in the sense of if you're saying well a lot of um, animal proteins can have a have like high fat or or sure, you know that kind of, of course. Thing. So not to say that it's we're, we're totally shitting on vegetarian or veganism as a lifestyle, just saying. It's not a free for all. I think more more than anything. It, it's if if you're doing it for religious belief, if you're doing it because it's cruelty to animals, mm -hmm. I get it mm -hmm. a million percent. Yeah. You have the pescatarians. Yeah. That that eat fish. I mean, but do I not eat meat. Again, gross. That's never going to be me. But there's only one you, Summer. <laughs> right. So with all of that, you there's there's two spectrums to look at. If you, it's religious belief, mm -hmm. if it's Cruelty to animals. If it it could be just internal problem where just meat does this does just does not digest well for yourself. Yeah. You mentioned wrestling earlier. There's a guy, if people are familiar with wrestling, his name is Daniel Bryan. He's a guy who's a he, he's in, cur currently a wrestler now. Okay. I don't know anything about the wrestlers right now. Uh, don't worry, not many people do. Yeah. But the the point I'm I'm making with this guy is he's a he's a very uh, popular wrestler to the people now. He was having problems with digestion. He was having stomach problems and all kind of ailments and all kind of issues. And he was getting injured a lot. And his body was falling apart. He went to vegan. Whoa. Switch out to total vegan. And he's okay now, basically. Wow. Injuries are better. He's currently wrestling again. He had retired for a bit because he had all kinds of head trauma. He's had on top of all of his other injuries. But it was him turning vegan that kind of set the tone for him returning and him being in still he's still in great shape he's still his yeah. body mass has remained it's That's all because impressive. of a digestion situation yeah. and if anybody look up daniel bryan and him being a vegan and that is, you're going to see this the story of that where it was a major lifestyle change that he had to do because he wanted to try a doctor recommended why don't you just try that to help with your overall inflammation great, great, pain great. all that stuff and it worked and it worked there's that. So. I guess that's the, that's, well, and that's the takeaway too, right? Oh, I didn't say my disclaimer. So at this point, you know, we're not medical doctors, but this isn't medical advice. <laughs> um, but you should talk to a, a, well, a doctor or a registered dietitian. Yeah, we're already getting sued. That that's it. They can't sue us. We're in international waters. We're in Havana. They can't then they'll get a shot is what the... They won't tell us where the bodies are buried. So once again, shout out to the cereal school. If you got any money to bail us out, please do so. If you see this video, some of you're making a clip of this because we need us to bail us out because we're gonna get shot in Havana for all this medical advice we're giving. I know. Jesus uh, Christ. I meant to ask you, what is, your, what is your top three wrestlers, favorite wrestlers? Oh God. Jesus. I always meant to ask you. Really? Or, or is it, right. do I have to go like era? Because I don't even know the, the old school era. Oh no, that's fine. I mean, that's, that's, that's our era. Well, let's, yeah, let's go with WWF era. Because that's, okay. that's, that's well, my it, era. I get, I'll go with, uh, in no particular order. No particular Rick, order. Ric Flair. Mm, I'll Boy. go with Steve Austin. Because I go with the personality. Uh, okay. I go with the, the, the mannerisms of how they talk, of how they are portray themselves and how they're able to talk. Yeah. And how they're able to improv talk and all of that. It's not scripted the Those way that they talk. Those guys are geniuses, you're right. So it's that type of style, the demeanor, all that. So you got that. And then, um, wow, that's a, this, is a, this is a tough well, question. Well, why do you think of uh, it? Let me tell you. I always thought. I know who you're going to say. Well, no. Oh, the what? name Nature Boy. Oh, yeah. I love that name. And I was thinking, that would be a great rapper name for a girl if you said B-O-I. Once again, there's only one summer. And Nature Boy. I got it. Yeah, I'm surprised no one has used it. Right? Maybe he's got copyright on it. Uh, but then if you change the lettering. Yeah, B-O-I. Right? Yeah. Nobody take Something. it. I took it, okay? I'm saying it's public. I made it mine. Okay. There's your disclaimer. <laughs> for my rap career. I, Go you, ahead. You're going to rap something. You're going to rhyme something. That's That'll be next week's show. Why would I take it if I don't have a rap? We're going to create a rap, and Summer will rap it on next week's show. That's it. That's all we're going to do. Okay. And then do that from the Korean bar. Okay, so the third one. Yeah, third one. 
it's tough because there's a lot of okay. I'm gonna have to just th say a name just to k save time. I would have to go Mick Foley. Oh, Once yeah. again, because an all-around personality, he had a New York Times bestseller. That his, always his blew my mind. I, that blew my mind. That number, it was one. number one, and it was good. It was, if you're a fan, you're gonna love it. If you were not, it's still very interesting. Oh, it was like really a good story. It's a good story. Okay. It's a real story. The audio book, if you can find the audio version, is great because he's doing the audio. Oh, I love when they he's do that. telling. I love when the author. And then he does impersonations of when he's talking to people. So he'll do the Ric Flair when he's having a meeting with Ric Flair. Are you it's great. And then he'll say like stuff like, oh, sorry, I swore if you have kids in the car as you're listening to this. He'll make little jokes throughout the thing as he's reading the book because he knows he's doing the audio book and you're listening to it in the car. So it's basically like an like extended one-man show. Yeah, it, it's phenomenal. It, it's, it's the most entertaining audio book I've ever, had, uh, okay, ever heard. Check it yeah. out. If it's still available, you could probably download it somewhere. Maybe I don't like know. Audible. Something like yeah. that, right. So, but yeah, so once again, it's, it's the personality. And just because it's it's acting and to put it it's a performance for sure. It is, it's a hell of a performance, and so I look at it. What led you to ask me the three questions, three wrestlers? What what led to that? I don't. I've been. Thinking, was I talking about wrestling? Oh, I was talking about Daniel Bryan. Yeah, that came. That's up. right. Yeah. Vegan. Yeah, yeah that yeah. came okay. up. Okay, got it. Um. Yeah, that was why I thought of it. I'm just gonna I put my mine are not. <laughs> what are your three? Here we go. Mine are not that fun now that I think about it. I know what one of them are. What? Ricky Steamboat. I know you a little bit. Yeah, that's my favorite one. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Yeah. And your reasoning was because he was from Hawaii. And he's not. He's not from Hawaii. That was all part of this, the act, the shtick. I feel like so... When did that I found, crush you? It did. I'm telling you, I was so upset. And I wasn't a kid when I found out. I was so angry. I was, I was a teenager. I had stopped really, like, really getting... I was... I had already transitioned from wrestling to, like, MMA. Okay. And I was still mad. I felt so oh, got it. betrayed that a local <sighs> boy is not local. Right. How they, dare you? They basically told him he was from that because he looked Asian. And he, yeah. That he's, was it. He's not even Asian, right? He. Isn't he like not, Hispanic? He's not full. He, he's not full. That's a good question. He's because he's not full. Yeah, I know he's Hapa. Yeah, he's Hapa. Okay. I, he I, he's got to be Asian. Man, he's he's got to be Japanese. He played it so hard, too. Like, you cannot do that nowadays. You can't. <laughs> but, it, I mean, the whole, like, enter the dragon, like... Right. Okay. He had the whole shtick. He had the, he had the look. It yeah. Worked. All right. But, yeah, he's... He, him. Okay. Ultimate Warrior. Okay. And then... So, like, the last one is... Um, is his name? No, wait, wait. I'm drawing a blank on the guy's last name. Oh, no. Uh-oh. What does he look like? Oh, no. Um, well, this guy's actually newer. Uh, 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 Ray Mysterio? Is that his name? Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. He was fun. I liked him. All right. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I Tag not... team. Really? Just one. Give me just one. Oh, just one? Yeah. You can just give me oh, one. Oh, uh, Road Warriors. Legion of Doom. There's no th nothing else. Yes, there mm -hmm. is. They're the best. They're the no, tops. There's it's nothing demolition. better than that. It is not the road They can go warriors. take a cup of shut the hell up, all right? They, they took, they ripped off the, the road warriors. That was a rip off of the road warriors because they couldn't get the road warriors to come to WWF. The road warriors just had football pads and put spikes on and it. And paint on their face. Demolition. They're in better shape than demolition. Yeah, okay. They were yoked. Demolition yes. looked like they're doing the Atkins diet. <laughs> they were on the Atkins diet, but they they looked scary because they had this kind of S and M vibe going on. Okay, right. They so, were a little darker, like edgier. And thus that's why because you're a darker kind of gal. That and see, they doesn't had, that make it mysterious, huh, everyone? About summer, isn't it? And the they had Mr. Fuji. Right. I got to actually. I got he's to from meet Hawaii. Him. I got to meet him because he's my aunt, my auntie's best friend back in the day. It was his dad. Oh. Yeah. So I had my doll. Wow. Do you, if you guys remember the the, the the toys, the rubber. Oh, the the big rubber dolls. Yeah. yeah. So I had Mr. one Fuji of Mr. Fuji. Right. So I I was at the wedding. So I'm this tiny little girl with my Mr. Fuji doll, and I go walking up to him. Yeah, and I think he told me this. Yeah, thing. and I and I asked him if he could autograph it. Oh, what and did he, he say? Was, he loved it. He's like, right, right. He tripped out, right? Yeah. So he signs it, and all of it, it's at the head table, and they're all like, "What is that? What is that?" I don't even recognize him because I'm a kid, right? And he's yeah. not Mr. Fuji because he's wearing a low shirt. Right. He's not doesn't have the top hat. Top hat and the, the coat. Right. And the cane. Right. So, so I, I and I'm, I'm telling my mom, 
Wow. Yeah, it was a little thing, but anyway. Wow, that's great. I wish I still had that doll. I don't know where it went. That's a, that's amazing. If you have that doll, it would be insane. I know. That would be I'm totally really insane. upset. I don't know what happened to it. I'm sure it's around. It better be. You have be. to find it now. I have to. And it's gonna. You have to put it on this this video. I know. You have, you have to fly it into Havana and then bring <laughs> yeah. it in and put it around this table. Yeah, I'll figure out a way to get it here. Maybe wow. I'll do it like a carrier pigeon or something. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's I mean, that's that's that sums up why I like demolition. Then I don't see why not. On on top of that, because it's Fuji. Yeah. Exactly. And, and he's from Hawaii. Okay. Exactly. But yeah. I got it. Okay. Um. I did, I did want to get, get your thoughts, thoughts on going, going back, back to the, the, the nutrition, nutrition thing. thing. Like, I, I one of the things, the things that, that I like to suggest to people is to just say, well, rather than say, don't do this and take away that and don't eat this. Yeah. Sometimes I like to suggest um, adding something. So what I mean by that is to say, well, um, if you're starting, if you're craving something, drink a glass of water because you might be dehydrated. Okay. Or yeah. eat like a, 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 either like a salad or like a something, something like veggie related before. So you're adding so that you, first of all, your stomach is full and you just won't eat as much. Or right. that might even satisfy the craving. What do you think about that? Okay. Well, not as easy as it may sound. Mm -hmm. Because if you weren't eating it before, there's probably a reason why you weren't eating it before. Yeah. Because you didn't like it. That's true. So we, the whole mindset of people, when they think of dieting, and if they're not thinking of all these diets mentioned, they have to eat vegetables. Yeah. People don't like vegetables. People don't like veggies. Vegetarians don't like vegetables. Yeah. So all the good stuff that is going to be recommended by whoever. Yeah is always going to be met with just a grain of salt. We will nod our head and be like, yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I know I, I need to eat a salad. You're right. But I haven't had a salad in 10 years. But I know it's supposed to be good for me. I don't really technically know why it's supposed to be good for me, but I know it's good food and I know it's healthy. I don't really know why. Yeah. I don't know what I'm supposed Why do I supposed to eat lettuce for? Why do I eat? I don't, all of that stuff. So you got to, so it's, it's, it's the mindset again. You got to just change your mindset of, you're gonna add these things in. Why are you adding them in? And maybe taking into account the reason you're adding them in is because it's you're, like you're taking a supplement, like you're taking a vitamin. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm, I'm doing my four broccoli today as part of my supplementation routine. Yeah, that's you a good know, way to do it. To change the mindset of it, rather than I'm just gonna, oh, I, I gotta get a salad. I, where am I gonna get a salad? I don't wanna make a salad, I'm late. Oh, I don't wanna cut uh, this up. And right. I'm gonna... So then why don't you just go to the market and then buy like one broccoli. Yeah. Cut the one broccoli and then divvy it up somehow where you take it as like three broccoli stems a day. Yeah. Start yeah, yeah, yeah. in whatever kind of psychological way you can do yes. to just make it not feel like it's such a chore because you hate eating broccoli, for example. Yes. You know? Small manageable chunks. Try just try small manageable chunks. Whatever you can. A lot of people's issue too is they don't get enough protein. Oh yeah. Everybody loves to just do the yogurt and then they go they get the protein from there or they do a bread or they do a cereal not shout out to not them. no <laughs> but it people do, do not do enough protein throughout the day mm -hmm. women especially particularly women yeah so how do we implement that and then that's another thing to look at how are you going to look at using protein as a daily supplementational situation do you go the protein powder perhaps but not really that's not food yeah. Then that you're is, be dependent on that. Yeah. So then do you do like the hard boiled egg situation? Can you tolerate doing hard boiled eggs? People mostly cannot. Okay. Do it without the yolk? Oh God. Without the yolk? Are you <laughs> what kidding am I, me? an animal? <laughs> exactly. I'm going to waste the yolk? All right. Then don't waste the yolk, but then see if you can do one or two eggs a day. Yeah. As like a multivitamin. Like a multivitamin. Looking not at it like a multivitamin. Substitute it. Right, right. It's, it's the mindset. It's, it's changing the mindset. And it's the same situation. With food, it's the same situation with exercise. Start slowly, it, small. Right. But just consistently. And don't just quit something cold turkey. Don't just go all in on something. You, you got a moderation throughout. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For the long haul here. We're talking the long haul. Yeah. We're not talking 30 days. 
We're not talking 60 days. We're talking the life, you know? See where you go from there. You like eating eggs in the morning, two, two uh, hard-boiled eggs in the morning? Okay, see if you can move on to other types of things in life. Right. Not just week two, week three. Look at how do we keep it going? Yeah, yeah, so. yeah that's true. But, but um, and, and I, I think, think that, that that's actually what a lot of um, behavioral experts, experts say, is you want to make sure you break it down into teeny, teeny, teeny tiny, tiny little manageable yeah. tasks. Yeah. And then just do it every day. Right. Yeah. That, that's all you got to just look at it as a strategy. Everyone should be planning. You sh everyone should have plans. Mm -hmm. Heath Ledger was not wrong when he said, as the Joker, everyone's got a plan. He's got a plan. All of us need to have a plan. His is to watch the world burn, but he's, he's it's still a plan. It's still a plan. So if you have a plan, stick to your plan. Yeah. Whether you think you have a plan or you don't, you do have a plan. You plan to wake up in the morning. You plan to go to your work. You plan to come home from work, usually. That's what you need to look at with food. That's what yeah. you need to look at with this exercise thing. You just plan it out. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to eat the salad, okay. If that really just grotesques you out, what can you substitute the salad with? Usually people eat salad for roughage. Mm -hmm. Usually people eat salad for fiber. Yeah. So then what can you do to substitute for fiber then? Go that route. Yeah. Don't even eat a whole salad. Just go eat broccoli like earlier. Right, right. Make something that is going to fill you up in a roughage situation. It doesn't have to be a salad. It could be cauliflower rice. That's a thing. That's a thing, yeah. And then do that. If you don't like the way cauliflower rice tastes, okay, try and make cauliflower fried rice. Yeah, yeah. Make it look like fried rice. Do what you got to do and plan. Yeah. And that, that's it. And protein, if you're not getting enough, how can you implement more protein? If little, you don't like, you know. A little bit, little bit, little bit, yeah. And then if, you have a, if you're a person that's a picky eater, you can just get the hell out of here because we're not going to deal with you people because you guys got to make me sick and just be open-minded and just try and eat shit, all right? Not, stop being freaking closed-minded and talking about this texture. If it's texture situation, okay. If you're freaked out by texture, I cannot help you there, all right? I don't know what to tell you. But if you're picky eater and you're saying, I don't want to eat it and you've never eaten it before, how do you know if you're not liking it or not if you haven't even tried it? If you tried it once and you say, fuck it, okay. But at least that's try fair. it. That's at fair. least try it. So, it, it, in, plus in, in turn, you may love it. You may like it, want to try it again. And then therefore you have another thing to add to the arsenal of your food. Yeah, yeah. that's and true. And then you have another option. That's true. So, if you're the person that says, I, I hate fish, okay. If you hate fish, if you don't, if I hate fish, then that's, if you tried it, then it's fine. And you don't like it, then that's okay. Then we move on to the other things. What else can you do for protein? Yeah. Chicken, steak, what have you. If you're picky about everything, you can just get the hell out of here. Yeah, G -G I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it, that shit. Yeah. Everybody can find their way. Everyone can find their plan. And that's it? Yeah, that's, uh, definitely. Yeah, to answer that. Uh, so, in summation. Oh, <laughs> no, oh no, finally. No. All right, really? <laughs> I've been ranting enough. Are we at the end? Thank goodness. Well, yeah, we're, we're going to start. Right. Ra we're we're going to uh, slowly start. Uh, what is the analogy I want to get here? I was like, we're going to slowly steer this ship into the heart. Yeah, into the ship. <laughs> I had, I had an analogy and it disappeared. Well, a lot of stuff disappears when. I well, two shout outs. So like, I this is from it, you, it was from the curve. Kamuki. Oh, key. curve Kamuki. Keep, keep, keep it Kamuki. Keep it Kamuki. Um, the reason why I needed it was because the the workout shout out second shout out to uh, Prado Power this morning. Oh yeah, kick, shout out. Kicked my okole so. And he's a fan of the show. Yes, he is. He always says, uh, I want to say a shout out to you uh, personally because you give me comments about. After what you watch the show, that's great. I know, it's I, I awesome. Love feedback, so yes. shout out, Blake. shout out, Blake Prado. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. So, so what I did want to say was, okay, what's coming up? You already kind of mentioned on the network. We have the Halloween oh. show. Um, yeah. And what else, like on the the audio, the oh, yeah. audio only. The audio only. Doing... Well, we we have the this this fantastic fitness show that we do. Uh, each and every week from Havana. And then on Thursdays is always Throwback Thursday where we do the 94 show. We're on episode two of the 94 show, which just uh, uploaded, and that is covering all the major hits of 1994. Like the, the, the mainstream hits that came out. Can I just say something? So I haven't sure. listened to 
the one that just came out. I listened to the the, the first one. So you're kind of setting this, the scene. In terms yes. Of like where where was 1994? Right. The level of like research that Sky did for this is insane. Yeah, he's he's t he. They go over the top movies. They go over the top TV shows. They go over top news pieces. They go over the top sports. They go over the top. Everything you can wrestling think of. Was in there. Oh yeah, yeah, wrestling was in. I think that's, that's what was in my mind while I'm talking about oh, wrestling. Oh, got it. They think about they. Sky Cameron talked th thought about everything, and it will take you back does. to that time yes. in your life. Well, like for my in my case, I was only four years old, so I don't know um, anything yeah. about that. I barely remember yeah. it. Yeah, I like how you paused after you said that. <laughs> Uh, but it's amazing. We covered everything, right? You 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 legitimately feel like you're going back because you constantly keep saying, "That's right, I remember that." Oh, that's right, I remember that. You you'd be shocked. You'd be right. Shocked. So there was OJ, oh, Tyke, that's which is a recurring <laughs> character now on <laughs> Sleep Times Over. We need to make a Tyke shirt at this point. We've been talking about Tyke last week. Talking about Tyke on the '94 show. I, we gotta do a, a, a special on Tyke. Yeah. We're, we're I, think, I think so. I think so. I mean, talk so. about something that kind of. But yeah, that yeah, was '94, and we talked about where we were as people then, like the personal. Like, where yeah. We were going to school and what did we do after school? Buying. Yes. Music. So yeah. It, it was, and it's highly personal in the sense of, you. I was actually kind of moved in the sense of. When you hear Sky and Aaron talking about what they were doing back then, you're like, "What was I doing?" Oh yeah, I was doing that. It, oh, right. It's it's a personal journey. I know that sounds like it, I wasn't expecting to be so nostalgic and to feel a, a way like I did. So I, I highly suggest people check it out. Yeah, it was it's it it's, it's, it's been good. Yeah. yeah. He's out of his mind. So that's, that's all he does with his time, his life. So he's gonna look up everything. He, he researches all of this. I mean, God, God bless him. He's yes. Him. Yeah, so it was amazing. I, I, Leave that uh, assignment to him, and he always excels with it because he just covers everything. Episode two is the same situation. And with there. this level of exuberance too, it's it's and very infectious. Excited. Yeah, it's very he's infectious. Never not excited. Yeah. He's always, you know, <laughs> you'll always be excited. Yeah. When you, when you, especially when you talk about music, music and movies, you'll always be excited. Everything else, I don't know. <laughs> but music and movies, he's always ready and he's on. So that's why perfect person for me. He'll, he'll probably know who what what year Lombardo came out. He would know. He would probably have a copy of it. Oh, yeah. Lombardo. Yeah. He's, he knows the director, how much money he made, the budget. <laughs> yeah, Are you kidding right. me? Which, which movie, movie house, like, released it and produced exactly. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay. He's got it all. Okay. Go. We'll talk about that in episode three of the 94 <laughs> show. Maybe the Lombardo came out in 94. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a quick dinky? Uh, uh, okay. Well, yeah. That's, that's what's coming up uh, audio-wise. And then, of course, we got Alan. Schedule. Awesome. Okay. So, yeah. And where can we find you? <laughs> That's a loaded question. So, I know. Uh, I know. You want to find me? <laughs> I, it's Sleep Times Over Show Instagram. We got the YouTube channel that you're currently watching right now. Please, I'm not going to do the British voice because people thought I was an Aussie. I got it. <laughs> Share, subscribe, like it, and uh, comment as well. Comments actually matter too with this whole thing. And uh, of course, Sleep Times Over on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, sleeptimesover.com. The link is in the description of this video. And that's in a nutshell where you can quote unquote find me. Oh, that was what I meant to say. So, like, if you want to show your appreciation for all of Aaron's hard work, and all, and now I think about all of Sky's hard work with his show too. What you can do is you go to iTunes, and if you're not already subscribed to the the podcast, first of all, subscribe, all right. Yes. And then, second of all, rate, rate. I know you hear that all the time. Rate and review it because that actually helps a lot. Yes. Because what happens is you, if enough people do it, we get bumped up, and actually, new people. The, the algorithm at, that whatever yeah, well, algorithm Apple uses yeah. will bump you up and some new people will discover it. Um, no, that's a, that's a great point. Yeah. It's like, okay, if you were to go to iTunes and search the word sleep, right? <laughs> shit's going to come up, right? Yeah. But the more reviews we get or five-star ratings and whatnot. Yeah, please, five stars, gang. Right? gang. It bumps it up to the search to the top. So it would yes. be the top sleep. Right. And that's pretty impressive. 
can be like the top sleep when the show has not nothing to do with sleep. Yes. So it's stuff like that. That's algorithms. It, it helps a lot. So if you can do that, yes, and if you're like, I don't know what to write, then you, you can say that. Yeah. My suggestion is to use a line that I from one of my favorite movies, probably the best movie of all time, North Shore. You can say. He busts his stick. He shreds so bad. Just put that in. Five stars and put. He busts his stick. He shreds so bad. Again, that's from North Shore. Okay, North Shore. Let's get summer leave. Let's join summer leave. So five stars from North Shore. Yes. Excellent movie. Yes. And uh, that's really all you need to do. You don't need to put in some walls. Okay? No, you don't. So. He busts his stick. He shreds so bad. And then put five stars. Specifically made for you. Shout out, Mrs. Drizzy. I want you to type that out. <laughs> the theme of today's show is not nutrition. <laughs> it's Mrs. Drizzy. Yay! Exactly. <laughs> now, okay. all the people watching this, all two of you. Yeah. You guys are curious to want to see what Mrs. Drizzy looks like. I <laughs> assume possibly. Right. Shout out to her. The, the great woman. Yes. She is. Um, and then lastly, if you need to reach me, I just realized the last time I said my Instagram handle, I actually misspelled my own Instagram handle. So that's problematic. Oh, boy. So it's Swayze808, S-W-A-Y-Z-E-Y-808. Got it. Yeah. Actually, his is not spelled that way either. I, I, I know. Guys, I get it. I get it. It's messed up. I didn't think about all of this when I made it. Okay, that's my problem. Well, that's your. Uh, that's the way to find you. Yes. Yes. Swayze eight oh eight on Instagram. And then you know what? If you want to write a review, write, write a review about summer. <laughs> go on there, this is busy. and write a review about summer if you want. Yeah. Then, go ahead. Hey. Yeah. yeah. I like her. You know, why not? Exactly. So all types of ways to do it. Communication. So, yeah. It's it's something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anything else we got? Or? No, I think that is it. So tune in next week um, when we will talk about fitness and many other things.